See this old hunk of apple wood? I'm turning it into a nice little honey pot. Why? Well, when I posted my honey dipper video, a lot of you had questions on where to store them, and that's where a honey pot will come in handy. A lot of you also said I should just use an old grocery store honey bear. But here's the thing, if you leave those out in direct sunlight, you run the real risk of your honey turning into candy corn mid-squeeze. And I like candy corn, but not on toast. We've turned the piece of apple wood down around, and we'll part off the lid section and get to hollowing out the middle. Honey collection and storage goes back to prehistoric times. A cave painting from about 8,000 years ago depicts two honey foragers collecting honey and honeycomb from a wild bee nest. Experts believe the figures are depicted collecting the honey in a basket or a gourd. All right, we've hauled out the inside, fitted the lid to size, and added a food safe walnut oil and wax finish. Only thing left to do now is to get some honey. Direct from the source, of course. That's heavy, dude. Yeah. Now we just add our honey to our honey pot, toss in our good old honey dipper, and it's all right there, ready for us to put honey on toast whenever we want. Which is something that bothered a lot of people when I posted this video the first time, but I'm telling you, bread, butter, and honey is very good. Okay, thanks, bye!